All right, we good? Let's go. Buddy, what happened? What's wrong? What, had a long night? Can't get up, no string? Huh, catching your breath, huh? Again, this is like our fourth run. Get up, get up. We've only run two miles. <laughs> You're hilarious. You see, with me, you know, I can always charge myself very fast, even though I had a long night. I had a lot of things on my plate, you know, from, you know, doing work, all my chores and errands. I'll share you something because this is something that you probably don't have with everything I have given you. Here, I'll show you. Go. Okay, so what I have here for you, buddy, is selenite, black tourmaline, crisk socola, which is a stone of empowerment and eases fear and anxiety. Now, I also gonna give you a smoky quartz, which removes negative energy and increases positive frequencies in your body. And of course, don't forget the red adventuring that encourages self forgiveness and confidence to boost you. Okay, now here. Dig it. We're gonna go for another round. And this time, we're gonna start, okay, at my count. All right, so, one, two, wait, come on. Hi Virgos, welcome to my channel. This is Cosmetology. Um, if you are here watching the February 19th uh, prediction um, horoscope um, for the rising signs and the moon signs, um, please watch first the first part at e -Tree Love Inc. where I discuss the general energy that we're facing. Now, you have here, let's discuss Virgo. For the Virgo rising or for the Virgo moon, it's gonna be happening in your 11th house. What is the 11th house for the Virgo? Um, the 11th house is your dreams. This is karma. This is how you feel um, being self, uh, you know, I feel like being free from it all because 12 is like totally I'm done. Okay. 11th is this is where whatever material, um, whatever that you gain in your 10th house, which is your, your, your work life, but your deeper work life, meaning your calling. Okay. When, you, when after this, this is the result. So there's a lot of results that you will see. There's a lot of things that will unfold to you about your dreams. The question is, do you want it? Do you accept it? Do you take it? Is this what you always wanted? Do you remember how we say it? Be careful for what you wish for because this is the part where you can get what you have wished for but it's gonna unfold to you in all facets. You know, it's just like, you know, you probably will get the biggest mansion, but then you have tax time now. And then, you know, the government is going to say, it's like, okay, well, this is the amount of taxes you got to pay. Okay, property taxes. Okay, you probably make a million last year. And then, okay, here comes the government again. Okay, it's not happening in Texas. Okay, but I'm saying the reality of your dreams. Because if you're wanting a big car, you know, a nice bougie car, only to find out that the maintenance in the tires, because you got a flat tire, it's like, do you want to keep it? Because it's like, it's so expensive for you to, for the maintenance. Because it's all about your dreams. It's all about your dreams. If you get it, when you get it, do you really want it? It's time to make a decision on that part for the Virgos. And that's happening in your. 11th house oh and by the way this is reflective also of your income and your savings that's why i'm referring if you can keep up with your dreams because the more you dream the more you gotta work hard for so do you want to keep up that's for the virgo rising and the virgo moon now thank you very much guys for watching this is just one of uh, our first um you know our rising sign and moon signs in this channel on cosmetology have a wonderful day bye